Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of wealth creation through the lens of real people who dared to dream big and achieve extraordinary financial success. Let's get started. Our first story takes us into the world of high finance, but it begins far from the gleaming towers of Wall Street. This is the story of Chris Gardner, a man who went from being homeless, struggling to provide for his young son, to becoming a successful stockbroker and later, a renowned motivational speaker and philanthropist. Chris's story, as many of you may know, was powerfully depicted in the film The Pursuit of Happiness, starring Will Smith. But the real story, the one behind the Hollywood lights, is even more inspiring, Imagine being a single father facing homelessness and carrying the weight of providing for your child on your shoulders. With unwavering determination, he pursued an internship at a prestigious brokerage firm, all while navigating the challenges of homelessness and single parenthood. Chris's story isn't just about financial success, it's about the power of believing in yourself, even when the odds are stacked against you. Remember your current circumstances don't define your future, your choices do. Real talk. On everything I love, I seen that movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. And it was an astounding movie. It made me cry, dog. What? What are you looking at? Thugs cry too. This movie just reminds me to never give up, no matter how hard things are. Our next story takes us from the world of finance to the dazzling lights of Hollywood. But it begins far from the red carpets and movie premieres. This is the story of Oprah Winfrey. Born into poverty in rural Mississippi, Oprah's early life was marked by hardship and adversity. Her journey began in the world of broadcast journalism, where her natural talent and charisma shone through. But Oprah's vision extended far beyond the traditional role of a news anchor. And so, The Oprah Winfrey Show was born, a show that would go on to redefine daytime television and captivate audiences worldwide for over two decades. Oprah's success wasn't just about her undeniable talent, it was about her unwavering work ethic, her entrepreneurial spirit, and her deep-seated belief in the power of human connection. I remember seeing this woman on the TV growing up and always thought she was magical in her own unique way. It was obvious she was paid, but it was something about her character that had nostalgia. On my mama, I have nothing but respect for this powerful woman. Our next story takes us on a magical journey. A journey that began not in a far-off land, but in the everyday struggles of a single mother facing financial hardship. This is a tale of resilience, creativity, and the transformative power of imagination. It is a story that reminds us that even in the darkest of times, hope and magic can be found. This is the story of J.K. Rowling, the brilliant mind behind the beloved Harry Potter series, a woman who went from living on welfare to becoming one of the wealthiest authors of all time. Her journey is not just about financial success, but about the triumph of the human spirit. Rowling's story is a testament to the fact that no matter how dire the circumstances, one can rise above them with determination and creativity. Before Harry, Ron and Hermione graced the pages of her books, J.K. Rowling was a single mother struggling to make ends meet. She faced numerous challenges, from the daily grind of financial instability to the emotional toll of raising a child on her own. Yet, amidst these struggles, she found solace in her writing. It was her escape, her way of coping with the harsh realities of life. But even in the face of such adversity, she held on to her dreams, to the stories that swirled in her imagination. These stories were not just a means of escape, they were a beacon of hope. They represented a world where anything was possible, a world where magic existed and where good always triumphed over evil. I remember seeing the first two movies back in the day when I was in daycare and was addicted to the imagination and creativity of Harry Potter series. Now that I'm older, I feel like I need to restart and watch every last new movie that has came out. I enjoy the Harry Potter rides at Disney as well, the most crowded place in the park. Let you know how much of an impact she's made on society with success. Rowling's imagination was her sanctuary, a place where she could find comfort and inspiration. 
She wrote whenever she could, stealing moments between caring for her daughter and trying to make ends meet. Her dedication to her craft was unwavering. She would write in cafes, on scraps of paper, and even in the quiet moments when her daughter was asleep. Writing was not just a hobby for Rowling, it was a lifeline. It gave her purpose and a sense of control in a world that often felt chaotic and unpredictable. The story of Harry Potter, a young boy who discovers he's a wizard, was born during this challenging period. The idea came to her during a train journey from Manchester to London. As the train chugged along, the characters and the magical world of Hogwarts began to take shape in her mind. It was as if the story had been waiting for the right moment to reveal itself. Rowling's creative process was organic and intuitive, driven by her deep love for storytelling. When J.K. Rowling finally finished the manuscript for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, it was met with rejection after rejection. Many publishers failed to see the potential in her story. They dismissed it as a children's book that would never sell. But Rowling was undeterred. She believed in her story and in the magic it held. Each rejection letter was a setback, but it also fueled her determination to succeed. But J.K. Rowling refused to give up on Harry and his magical world. She knew that her story had the power to captivate readers, to transport them to a world of wonder and adventure. Her persistence paid off. She continued to send out her manuscript, each time with renewed hope and determination. Rowling's journey is a powerful reminder that success often comes to those who are willing to persevere, even in the face of overwhelming odds. She persevered, and finally, a small publishing house, Bloomsbury, took a chance on her and her story. The decision to publish Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone would change the course of literary history. The book was an instant success, capturing the hearts and imaginations of readers around the world. Rowling's dream had become a reality, and her story was just beginning. The rest, as they say, is history. J.K. Rowling's journey from welfare to literary wizardry is an inspiring tale of resilience, creativity, and the transformative power of imagination. Her story is a testament to the fact that no matter how dire the circumstances, one can rise above them with determination and creativity. It is a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope and magic can be found. Rowling's success is not just about financial gain. It is about the triumph of the human spirit and the enduring power of storytelling. If you still hear and knew, you already know what to do. I'm not going to say much, but you need to go ahead and slap both of those buttons on the screen before I slap you, because all we do is flip cents into dollars and you not getting that yet by not following this channel. You heard so tighten up. Our next story takes us to the dazzling skylines of Dubai, a city synonymous with luxury and opulence. This is the story of Hussein Sajwani, a man who went from humble beginnings in a souvenir shop to becoming one of the most successful real estate developers in the world. He began his career in Dubai in the finance sector, but his entrepreneurial spirit yearned for more. He saw the potential of Dubai's burgeoning real estate market, a desert landscape ripe for transformation. In 1996, he founded Damic Properties, a company that would go on to redefine luxury living in Dubai and beyond. Hussein Sajwani possessed an uncanny ability to anticipate market trends, to understand the aspirations of a new generation of discerning homeowners. His story is a testament to the power of vision, of having the courage to dream big and the tenacity to turn those dreams into reality. Real estate is something that I will be looking into when I build enough capital from my original business, but definitely nothing to sleep on. Bro, right here is top tier proof how far you can take this real estate game to complete domination on God. Our final story takes us to the heart of the fashion industry, to the bustling streets of Los Angeles, where a global fashion empire was born. This is the story of Do Wan Chang and his wife, Jin Suk, founders of Forever 21, a brand that captured the hearts and wallets of fashion-conscious shoppers worldwide. Imagine arriving in a new country with very little money, working multiple jobs to make ends meet, and dreaming of a better life. That was the reality for Do Wan and Jin Suk Chan when they immigrated to the United States from South Korea in 1981. They worked tirelessly, taking on any job they could find, from janitorial work to pumping gas all while holding on to their dream of building a better future for themselves and their children. 
One day, Do Won, who had worked in the garment industry in Korea, noticed a gap in the market. He saw an opportunity to offer trendy, affordable clothing to young fashion-conscious shoppers. And so, in 1984, with just $11,000 in savings, they opened their first clothing store in a small 900-square-foot space in Los Angeles. This is amazing to hear about a man conjuring success in the shopping industry where women thrive spending money on fashion. You can't get any smarter than that. Very well played, Bratha. As we wrap up today's show, I want you to carry these stories of resilience, innovation, and unwavering belief in yourselves. Each of these individuals exemplifies that financial success is attainable through strategic investment, hard work, and an unyielding spirit. Subscribe to our channel for more inspiring journeys of wealth creation and share your own investment experiences in the comments below. Let's build a community of empowered individuals, all striving towards financial freedom and a brighter future. Eventually, my ambition had outgrew the nickel and dime hustles of the streets. I got a taste for the real money, the big scores. Through some, let's call them creative investment opportunities, I shifted my operations into more legitimate fronts as you can see. Nowadays, I make the heavy hitters of this city's underworld dance to my tune from my penthouse office. Click one of the two videos popping up to go deeper into the rabbit hole of money making, fund flexing. Look, I don't sugarcoat nothing. This road I traveled was paved with blood, betrayal, and sacrifice. The money does come easy, but I'm living proof that if you're willing to ruthlessly seize any opportunity, use whatever means necessary, you can drag yourself out of the deepest pit any city has to offer and stack cash higher than the Wayne Tower on Batman. The choice is yours. Stay a struggling punk or become the last man standing. Once again, I'm out. I'll see you in. The next one if you were smart enough to make it to this point.